Good morning, folks. The northern active region remains silent while facing Earth, but has unleashed a bonanza as it's begun departing. The goodbye kisses from the northern sunspots are where we begin at spaceweathernews.com, and those eruptions did reach up to the X-class flare line yesterday before fully turning to the far side and departing Earth's line of sight. We could still see the flare X-ray signatures for a bit while it goes over the limb, those bright flashes over on the right outshining the remainder of the sun. But its CMEs are not going to be geo-effective. We can see them here shooting out to the right about 90 degrees away from us, several of them. And while they are not aimed at Earth, they are squarely aimed at Venus and Mars, both planets taking wax from these ones. Of course, we can't forget the eruption two days ago, and it's on its way to Earth. NASA says impact tonight, NOAA says impact tomorrow, but either way, it will be minor as just a glancing impact expected on the sparse outer edge of the eruption. Heading to the articles, we begin by confirming that satellite errors are vastly more common during enhanced space weather events than otherwise. The electron flux and proton penetration seem to have the largest effects. We have shown several of the paradigm shifts in the marine creatures, birds of flight, and here it is in vegetation resilience, found to be countering the localized trends of previous decades and now, all are struggling more. They of course blame global warming and the extra plant food in the atmosphere. We like to laugh at that one and instead blame the changing magnetic field of Earth. Two papers hitting one topic up next. The first is the radially described streaming patterns. It's how it works in the solar system, in the lab, and yes, in the galaxy. Like a spinning fire hose, the radio motion is a key component of the central current sheet. And speaking of which, folks, we shared this preprint weeks ago. So long ago, it actually made it into our new book. But here it is accepted and published in the journal. The Radcliffe Wave and others are radially forced and indicate a total galactic system. As always, they invoke the discussions of warp and satellite galaxies, but it's lip service here, and their descriptions of the larger scale features tell us they know better. We greatly appreciate your support. Big hits on technology, plants, and the galactic current sheet today. You can learn more at the Earth Disaster Documentary listed below the video in the description box. We've still got eyes on the sun, and we've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.